this point that you may eat and drink at my table mm. in my kingdom. Mm. This overwhelmed me. Amen. I mean, not only are we given a kingdom, but we are invited. We are brought to the table of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And we have been brought up to eat and to drink of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Christ is the first fruit of those who have been appointed to this kingdom. This is His table. Mm -hmm. It is His drink. It Amen. is His body. Mm -hmm. mm. Amen. He is the groom. We are the bride. Amen. And we see this great wedding banquet that is prepared for those who love Amen. Him. Amen. Who does He bring into the house? But those who vessels are filled. Uh -huh. All others are what? They're locked out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The ones that are prepared. We're going to talk about that a little later too. That we are being prepared now for the kingdom. But He, Amen. but Christ is the first fruit of those who have been appointed unto this kingdom. Christ is the firstborn of many brethren. He is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. He is the first and last, the Alpha and Omega. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the bookends. He is the everything that encompasses God's people. Apart from Christ, there is no kingdom. Apart from Christ, there is no appointment. Or reigns apart from Christ. Man has no way of being righteous and holy before a holy God. Mm -hmm. We are not able to come to God alone to reign with Him. Christ is the access and the conduit for all that is good of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This appointment has to be appointed to Christ first. We see this. As my Father hath appointed unto me, I appoint unto you. Uh -huh. You can't give something that you don't receive, that mm -hmm. you don't have. So God gives this appointment to Christ, and He gives it to us. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is a perfect example for those to follow. He is a perfect King for His kingdom to reign, mm -hmm. for His princes, for His brethren, for His brothers and sisters to reign. He has shown all through much suffering. We shall. He has shown us all that through much suffering that we shall enter into this kingdom. He is a perfect. He has shown us that it is not by our will that things are accomplished, but it's by Father's will, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He came not to do His will, That's right. but to do the Father's. Mm -hmm. How are we to to usurp that authority? How are we to leapfrog over God's authority or over, God, over Christ's example? It is His Father's will that things are being accomplished. And He has shown us, Christ has shown us how to rule and how to judge under the perfect submission to the Father. The kingdom had to be first appointed to Christ, then to us, so that all would be fulfilled. This appointment had to be made so that we would be able to sit and eat at the table of the kingdom. Remember, right now, we are raised to sit. Yeah, that's right. We are raised to sit at the throne of God. Amen. Of Christ right now. Right now, we're reigning. Amen. 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 There is no other way than the appointment of the Father and the Son. Mm -hmm. We can't appoint ourselves. That's right. We can't volunteer for this service. Remember, God calls us to mm -hmm. Christ, and Christ presents us to the Father. Mm -hmm. There is no me, me, me. It's all in the Father, and it's yeah. all in the Son. And it's all by this appointment. Amen. This kingdom does not come by ha happenstance. Yeah. It is only theirs for those who are seeking after it. It just, just, just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Luke 12, 31, it says, But rather seek ye the kingdom of God. Amen. And what happens? Yeah. And all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. Fear not, little flock. 
For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the yeah. kingdom. God has put things in place for those who, have, who He has chosen from the beginning of the foundations of the world. Amen. We can see all through history of God appointing kingdoms upon this earth. He called Abram. Mm -hmm. Abram didn't go by himself. That's right. He called Abram out from his kinsmen, uh -huh. out from his people, to a place where he was going to appoint, be appointed a people and a country. He called Abram out. This is your land. Amen. This is where your people will dwell. Amen. God called Moses to deliver God's people from Egypt to a place that was flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. These people were given a country to rule and to thrive in, to be God's people. Mm -hmm. He sanctified them. He set them apart from the rest of the world. He set the bounds of their habitation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Amen. He set our bounds of our habitation also in this world. This is Brother Rodney brought up. <coughs> This is where God wants us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And this is where we're going to flourish. Uh huh. Yeah. And this is our kingdom. Yes. Amen. These people were given a country to rule and to thrive, to be God's kingdom. He told Joshua in Joshua 1 3 that every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given you, as I said unto Moses. That's right. You know what? From here. Back to where we live, God has given us that place. Amen. And each and every one of us, <coughs> He has done this. Amen. He has set us here to take control. Mm -hmm. to, 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 to share God's Word. To nourish, to be nourished in, to sustain. Amen. He has given us this time and this habitation for mm -hmm. His purpose, for His purpose. Amen. For Amen. all of His glory. Yeah. He gave David to rule over a new, over a never-ending throne. God has prepared and equipped His people to rule and reign in that which He has given them. Mm -hmm. He's prepared us. He's given us this ability. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We desire it. Mm -hmm. We desire this communion with God. But we know, but we know that we have to seek after Him. He's not going to give this kingdom. He's not going to throw His pearls before swines. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We have to be seeking. We have to be searching. We have to be knocking. Yeah. We have to be inquiring of God's will in our life. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Just as Jesus told His disciples in our verse, Seek ye. Seek ye the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. All of this will be added unto you. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Mm -hmm. If it is the good will of the Father, then He will supply all of our needs in Christ Jesus. To fulfill that in which He has given. He's given it. He's prepared it. Mm -hmm. And He enables us all through Christ. But as it is, as it states, we must be seeking. Yep, amen. As I said before, this is an exclusive appointment, and not all men receive. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 5:5 5, 5 tells us, "For this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ yeah. and of God." Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Exclusiveness yeah. for those who have been washed in the blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For those who have come and put everything away yeah. for Christ. Amen. 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 It is appointed unto those who do the Father's will that receive. How did Christ receive the kingdom? He did His Father's will. Mm -hmm. Matthew 24, 45, 5, it says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant? It takes faithfulness. It takes wisdom. Whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household mm -hmm. to give them meat in due season. 
Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so do. Yes, amen. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all of his goods. That's right. It is appointed unto the faithful, the faithful who are found watching and waiting and doing upon the Master's arrival that are keeping His commandments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is reserved for those who are unspotted from the rudiments of the world, who have separated themselves from the conversations of the wicked and have kept their vessels clean. Yeah. Those who are faithful in Him will He grant this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This kingdom is not reserved for the wealthy or the strong either. It is not set aside for those who, are, who have wisdom or power of this world. It is appointed to those only who are rich in faith. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. James 2.5 tells us, Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world rich in faith yeah. Amen. Amen. and heirs yeah. of the kingdom yeah. which He hath promised to them that loved Him? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. You're not going to be faithful to something you do not love. Yeah, that's right. Amen. And you're not going to love something that you're not faithful to. Mm -hmm. It takes both. Amen. Mm -hmm. It takes faithfulness and love. Amen. Right. Yeah. Amen. And if you have faithfulness Amen. and if you have love in God, then you are going to be unspotted from this world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. If you have faithfulness and love to God, then you're going to be doing His will when He comes. Amen. He will find faith. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. He will find faith in the earth where He has planted you. Amen. Uh -huh. Our faith and love in God, of God is what sets us apart. It is what makes us acceptable in the Beloved. It is what enables us worthy to receive the kingdom. God will not let His kingdom out to those who will pervert or defile it. Mm -hmm. He will only give it to those who are faithful. Yeah. We know that the flesh, we know that flesh and blood, it cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does it want to. Uh -huh, that's right. How many times does the flesh want to get up early in the morning and come to the service? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. The flesh is contrary to the spirit. Yes. Yeah. And it cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does it want to. So, there has to be a preparation for those who are going to rule in it. There has to be a crucifying of the flesh. There has to be a point to the, to the child of God that he takes the flesh into subjection when he is not ruled by the flesh. There has to be a putting it away and putting on Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And then, and only then, are we able to inherit what He has given us? Mm -hmm. Jesus told His disciples in John 14, 12, In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Mm -hmm. That where I am, mm -hmm. there ye may be also. Mm -hmm. And whither I go, you know. And the way, you know. We're in the loop. Mm -hmm. We are in the loop. Yeah. God has showed us the way, mm -hmm. and He has revealed the way mm -hmm. to the Father. Mm -hmm. Jesus went away so He could prepare a place for us. Amen. 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 Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us. He has entered into the heavenly realm, and He has sanctified it with His own blood. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is through his, his through his flesh that we have access. Remember when he was when, when he died on the cross? Remember the curtain? The temple, the curtain yeah. rent mm -hmm. from the top to the Amen. bottom. This was opening up God to yeah. those. Amen. Him. This Amen. was opening up his kingdom. This was ushering in the kingdom to his people. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. These things that are within ourselves that are not compatible with the kingdom of God, they are being put away. They're being chiseled away. They're being chopped off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. They Amen. are being purged. 
Right now, we are being transformed into the image mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Think about that daily. Jesus is increasing in us as we, our flesh, is decreasing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. There can't be a neutrality. Yeah. You're either serving one or you're serving the other. Mm -hmm. yeah. So as Christ is increasing on us, then the flesh is decreasing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we know this from John the Baptist. Uh -huh. There are things that are being chiseled away here so that we will fit perfectly there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are a new creature, one with the desires of God. And as we grow in the fear and the admonition of the Lord, His desires and His purposes grow in us. As we approach the departure from this world, whether it is by the death or by the Lord's return, then we are being prepared to rule over ten cities. We are being prepared and being more, more equipped to judge the angels. Mm -hmm. We are being made jewels for the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are being prepared in that our love for God and the brethren is growing more and more. <laughs> and our hatred for the things of this world is growing more and more. Mm -hmm. See, right now, each and every one of us we are being transformed. Mm -hmm. yes, amen. We are being formed into the image of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And as His desires grow in us, our desires in the Spirit. Uh -huh. Amen. We are severing ties with the things of this world. Mm -hmm. And the cords of love are strengthening for that which are of God. Amen. Amen. Those who rule kingdoms, think about this, those who rule kingdoms are single-minded on the kingdom that they are ruling over. Mm -hmm. Their focus can't be over here. Their focus can't be over there. But on the things which are ruling. Yes. The things which are at hand. And in order for this single-mindedness, there has to be this preparation. Just as kingly rules in this world, then princess, then princes, they have to be molded and encouraged mm -hmm. and defined. Same thing is happening with the kingdom of God. First mm -hmm. John 3:12 tells or 3:2 tells us, beloved, now. This is now. Yeah. We are the sons of God. Mm -hmm. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when He shall appear, we shall be like Him. For we shall see Him as He is. Yes, amen. We are sons now. But we're still being prepared. Yes. We still see through a glass darkly. But one day, that glass that glass is going to be removed. Yeah. Amen. And we're going to see the fullness of Christ Jesus Amen. in Amen. Him mm. and in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. The accumulation of all things, mm -hmm. the fullness of all things is going to come together. Yeah. Uh -huh. God has not only made us to be priests, those which minister to the things of God, mm -hmm. But he's also made us kings. Amen. Amen. King rules. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Revelation 1 6. And he hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 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 In this world, in this world, there is no provision for one to be a king and to be a priest. It would be a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. But in God's economy, Remember, we're not talking about the world economy. Yeah. We're talking about God's economy. Yeah. Yeah. These two are perfectly meshed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how is this? Because they are meshed together in Christ. Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God has given us the mind of Christ, and by this, He has made us suitable for reigning and for ministering. 
King Saul tried to be the king and priest at one time, didn't he? He tried this by sacrificing a burnt offering. But Samuel came and said that because the king took this upon himself to offer the sacrifice, that the kingdom was given to another. Uh -huh. So we see it's a conflict of interest. You cannot be king and priest in this world, only in the world of God. Amen. In other worlds, in the other world's economy, the kings and priests, they must be separate. But in God's economy, they are suited perfectly together. Amen. So right now, we are ministering and we are ruling. Mm -hmm. The kingdom that God has given us is not only the one to come. It is in part. But it is here and now also. We have been raised to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are ruling the kingdom now. Jesus told his disciples that there be some standing here which shall not taste of death mm -hmm. till they see the kingdom of God. This kingdom is that which Christ ushered in upon his death. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He ushered this kingdom in upon his death, his burial, and his resurrection. Mm -hmm. It is a kingdom that is within us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Where God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit dwell us. Amen. Mm -hmm. There are not people that have seen Christ's death that are still living today. But they see, they see this kingdom ushered in when Christ gave up the Holy Ghost and was raised up to the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. And that day of Pentecost. Yeah. When the Holy Spirit entered, entered in, that was the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 We are to rule over our bodies. Yeah. We are to reign over the things of God. The Master has gone forth to a far country, and when He returns, He will look upon His servants and see if they have ruled His goods well. And those who have ruled well, he's going to say, good and faithful servant, enter in to thy rest. Amen. Amen. So as we have been raised together, we are ruling now, and we are also awaiting for that kingdom to come, where there will be ten cities awaiting for those who have done well. If we... We have again been given revelation mm -hmm. of the things to come. It is marvelous in our eyes now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But on that day of fullness, mm -hmm. I just can't imagine it. I can't imagine it. It's going to be glorious. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yeah. With this appointment of a kingdom, there is also something else that goes along with it. And as I spoke a little earlier, is suffering. Mm -hmm. Acts 14.22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that, and that we, we must, through much, suffer, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again in Matthew 5.10, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Jesus suffered more than any man will ever or has ever suffered. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> it was prophesied of his suffering. The fathers and the prophets suffered for the kingdom of God. Yes, they did, but they did not go through that trial. They did not go through that persecution that Christ went through. <coughs> Are we better than they for not suffering? Satan's fiery darts are hurled at the children of God every day, which is why we have been equipped with a shield of faith. Mm -hmm. There is this suffering for each and every one of us. This suffering is not only exclusive to the physical body, but it also affects, and more importantly, the spiritual body. Mm -hmm. Paul speaks of this warring within himself in the seventh chapter of the book of Romans. There is an inner struggle within 
those who have been appointed. The flesh and the spirit, they are contrary to one and to another. The flesh will not roll over and allow the man of God to rule over it. Hmm. But it will fight until it is put away in death. Yeah, that's right. Yep. It will fight until it is put away in death. Hmm. So there is a suffering involved in the inner struggle between the flesh and the spirit. But be of good comfort. Remember, hmm. Jesus told me, be of good comfort. Yes, yeah. amen. For I have overcome the world. Amen. amen. God has given us grace. God has given us grace mm -hmm. to endure and to overcome Amen. these struggles. Mm -hmm. And we must remember that the struggles within are an indication that we are a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And with these struggles, there is, there is an overcoming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Revelation yeah. 26, 27. I got two or three passages in Revelation when he's speaking to the churches of those who overcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Amen. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessel of a potter's pot of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Mm -hmm. Even I have received of my Father. Revelation 2.10 Fear none of those things which shall thou suffer. suffer. Mm -hmm. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, yeah, right. and I will give thee a crown of life. Yep. Amen. Mm -hmm. And in 3.12, He that overcometh mm -hmm. will I make a pillar. That's right. A pillar. Yeah, Do we understand what a pillar is? Yeah. It holds everything else up. Uh huh. Yeah. It is a supporting structure. Yeah. I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. That's right. Amen. And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God. Uh huh. And the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Mm -hmm. Look at the intimacy of this. Mm -hmm. Look at the faithfulness of this. Mm -hmm. For those who overcome, God is going to make, make them pillars to hold up the temple. He's going to write his name. Yes. And to him that overcomes, will I grant. Will I grant to sit with me mm -hmm. oh, in my throne. Yeah. Amen. 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 Even as I also overcame and am set down with my Father in his house. We will be sitting in the throne of Jesus Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Even so, as a father has appointed unto me a uh -huh, kingdom, yeah. I appoint you a kingdom. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. This kingdom is worthy. This kingdom is glorious. This kingdom is worthy to put all things of this world aside uh -huh. and to strive for the mastery. Amen. Mm -hmm. A ruler is temperate in all things so that he is able to rule with all sobriety and overcome all adversities. Well, brethren, the king has given us an incor incorruptible mm -hmm. crown. He has given us an inheritance. He has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. And he has given us and prepared us and enabled us for this kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Uh, and in closing, let us remember that we are ruling and we are reigning now in the kingdom which God has given. We are ruling and reigning these mortal bodies and taking them into subjection. We are the temple of the living God. And with this, we must rule over it. Yes. We are to be faithful in that which God has entrusted us with. We must be looking to His will and not our own. A good king looks to the needs of others above himself. That's right. We have been given the essentials to rule and to reign upon this earth and to look for that city whose builder and maker yes. is God. Mm -hmm. When 
we are looking for those foundations that are not of this world, we are looking higher. Yes. Amen. Amen. We are looking higher than the, the, what this world has to offer. Amen. We are looking into the heavenly uh -huh. kingdom. We are looking into the kingdom that God has established and Christ went up mm -hmm. and cleansed and prepared for us. Amen. He has given us a kingdom while we are on this earth, but He has also revealed to us that we are being fitted completely yes. for this kingdom. Amen. Yeah. The new Jerusalem will be fitted with those who have faithfully reigned in this earth, who have overcome the wicked one, and who have set their affection on things on high. We are being prepared now for a time then when we shall see His face and the glory of God of God will be revealed in us. Amen. Brethren, we are going to be a part of a kingdom that will never end. Amen. And the doors will be shut no more. Amen. We're going to be a part of a kingdom where there will be no night. Amen. Amen. And no sun. For the Lamb is the light. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're going to be a part of the kingdom where sin and death will be no more. Amen. We're going to be a part of the kingdom that is everlasting. Amen. We will be serving our God night or yes. daily, every day. Amen. We will be serving God Amen. without the, this body yeah. Amen. us down. Mm -hmm. Freely. No more tired. No more crying. No more pain. Amen. The throne is in the midst of That's this right. Throne. Yep. Amen. Uh -huh. And all that that is encompassing this throne is serving Him. Mm -hmm. We will be ruling over cities and angels and we will be an essential part of the kingdom of God that will have no end. Mm -hmm. Our, our faith must be such that we can lay hold and we must embrace the kingdom that, ha that has been appointed unto us. Amen. Amen. And I leave us with this one last verse. This is in Daniel 7.18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom yes. and possess the kingdom mm -hmm. forever, Amen. even forever mm -hmm. and ever. Amen. 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 Is there any other questions or comments or corrections?